So several people have been asking about the CWS and CWT certifications and what they're really all about, who they're aimed at, and so forth. So I thought one of the best ways to explain it would be just to talk to you for a moment about these two certifications. CWS is the Certified Wireless Specialist, and it's really a certification that's aimed at individuals in sales, marketing, and entry-level Wi-Fi professionals. So here's how I like to summarize it. CWS is all about learning the language of Wi-Fi. You're going to learn some things about how Wi-Fi works and how APs work and clients work and things like that in this certification process. But the real focus is making sure that you have a mastery of the primary language of Wi-Fi. So you're going to learn about terms like DBM and APs and clients and chipsets. You're going to learn about 802.11 as a standard and things of that sort. So really building a solid foundation of Wi-Fi technologies. Of course, the objectives really tell the story well. So if you take a look at the objectives at CWNP.com, you'll be able to see the different knowledge areas that are required and the specific objectives that do reveal exactly what you're learning in that certification. Then the CWT, the Certified Wireless Technician, is aimed at technicians, people who install wireless APs, people who have to configure wireless clients, people who may work at a help desk, or they're also in an entry-level type of technical role related to wireless technology. So both of these certifications are considered entry level, but there is a slight difference in them. Whereas CWS is mostly about the language of Wi-Fi and understanding conceptually what Wi-Fi is all about, CWT is more technical in nature, it's more practical in nature, about understanding how to do some basic tasks related to Wi-Fi equipment. So I hope this helps you understand a little bit about these two certifications. But I do want to go a little bit further because another question people have is, well, what happened to CWTS? So CWTS is still around until the end of 2018. So organizations that have training programs based on it and so forth can continue those training programs and run them right through the end of next year. People will be able to take the exam all the way through to December 31st, 2018. CWS and CWT effectively replace it, but they also introduce newer technologies that have come along since the last time CWTS was updated, and they also have a slightly different focus. They do not go into the heavy details in some areas that CWTS did, and they cover some things that weren't even included in CWTS. CWS and CWT form a foundational knowledge base that is phenomenal for anyone who's planning to pursue their CWNA or even go further with the CWNP certifications as well. So this summary should help you understand a little bit more about these certifications and who they're targeted at. And I hope that it helps you with any questions you might have had about these two exams.